Hey, and I'd like to thank you guys once again for coming to check us out here again in New York Eternics. All the support has been appreciated. We're almost well. All right. <laughs>just want to say thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. Before we even begin with today's video, I want to say congratulations to my hometown team, the Buffalo Bills. Congratulations. You guys have your game tomorrow against the Baltimore Ravens, and I wish you guys the best. I'm going to be rooting for you along with the rest of the city, so much love. Josh Allen, keep that arm strong. We'll see you there. All right, so uh, today's video... Uh, it's a milder winter day. Today is 36 degrees outside. Again, Buffalo, New York, 36 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the mildness of today and get the area around the hutch clean. I uh, haven't managed to get this area, uh, which is the drop between the uh, upper and lower level clean yet. And when I say yet, I mean it's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to pull that board out of there because usually I just pull it out you know, with my fingers like this and take care of business. But today I'm gonna have to go ahead and drill a couple of screws into it. I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna get a couple of screws in here and I'm gonna use those to help me pull the board out so I can get that clean. And we're gonna get this little bottom area clean, make sure that this area is all good to go. And we'll take care of a few things, discuss a few things, of course. Uh, again, milder winter day. 36 degrees here in Buffalo, no snow, uh, it's not too humid, it's a very dry day. Birds have been fed, birds have been watered, and yeah, we're going to take care of this. All right, and while we're on the subject, I just got these little two holes drilled in here so I can get the nails in here, or the screws, excuse me. Uh, I want to thank you guys, you know, for all the support so far and everything. I'm close to 2,000 subscribers here in the channel, and that's a big that's a big deal considering I've been doing this a little bit less than seven months right now. So again, thank you guys for all of the support. Uh, it means a whole lot to me. I do learn a lot from you guys, and I hope to continue doing this. So, yeah, again, thank you. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, we got this thing. All right, so now we're going to get it out of here and clean it. I'm going to have to be careful so I don't get in the way of the camera, but you see this nasty mess. This is about three weeks of just built up yuck. Let me get these screws out of here. Put those away for a minute, and we're going to take care of this nasty job. Give me a second. This is the unpretty part. They don't tell you about. And I'm gonna tell you about it. It's nasty. All right, so I've got this thing out of here. I'll go ahead and scrape it off. Not always glamorous, folks. It's about as gross as it gets. And the only reason it's this bad is because we had some really bad weather and I couldn't get out here to take care of it. And of course, you know, snow, moisture, and everything else built up. So now we've get... Uh, so now we've got it taken care of. Hopefully we won't let it go so long next time. All right, now that I've got that out of there, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in.
And as you can see, I have a huge mess to clean up down here. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna go get the garbage can, roll it over here so I don't have to go back and forth and make a quick job of this. And when you live in an area like Buffalo, it's not always easy to find a day during the winter to get this type of thing done. So of course you gotta take advantage when you can as an added bonus. Look at that. Looks like my watering system exploded. I have a piece of pipe over in my neighbor's yard. And I'm gonna have to check that out and possibly rebuild. But yeah, it looks like it's falling apart a little bit. All right, and some of you may ask me why I don't just compost the quail poop. Uh, I don't have the setup, and that's a project for another time. We might do a couple of videos on that in the future, so stay tuned for that. All right, we've got that part taken care of. Also got to make sure that we get the bedding inside and switch that out. It got really wet in here over the last couple of weeks. So a lot of their bedding caked up. But lo and behold, that makes it a lot easier for it to be removed. So, I'm gonna remove it and lay down some fresh bedding. And as always, we had one that escaped. <sighs> Say hi to the camera. All right, and I'm just bringing this little fella out to say hi, but I figured out that when these birds escape, they don't do that well at flying, of course, as most of us already know. It's best to just approach them slowly, let them tire themselves out unless you have to jump your neighbor's fences and everything. Uh, but yeah, they are pretty good birds. They, as any other bird, will try to escape whenever they get the opportunity. But, you know, if you, they know you're taking care of them, they're usually pretty good. It's all right. So yeah, say hi. All right, and I'm gonna finish loading them up. Premium pine shavings. Pine shavings I get for less than $4 from Tractor Supply. I know a lot of people think that that store isn't the best or whatever, but it's what I have in my area. I like to go there. I like to buy their stuff. Anyway, so I'm using premium pine shavings, scattering it about, making sure I check on the general health of the birds while I'm doing this. Make sure nobody's covered in blood, nobody has any bumblefoot issues or anything like that. So after I'm done, we'll go ahead and close up. We'll come back and check on the birds in a little while. Okay, so up on the upper level. Everybody seems to be concerned with food right now, not too many are even hanging out over here, if any at all. Well, none at all, as you can see. Let's see what's going on at the bottom. Oh, look at that. All right, looks like everybody's happy down here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them alone. And uh, yeah. And I'd like to thank you guys once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. All of the support is definitely appreciated. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers in less than seven months. Thanks to you guys. I learned from you guys. You guys learn from me. It's like a give and take. I love it. Um, if you haven't already done it, you know, subscribe to the channel, please. Leave a like for this video and hit that notification bell for more. Of course, we're always leaving new videos on the channel and you can be informed in real time when something new does happen on the channel. Uh, again, I look forward to seeing you at our next video. Thanks again from New York Eternics. Mm -hmm.